Hello, Grandmaster Gambardella here with another of the 15 things I learned from Manny Pacquiao. Number 15 is you fight to win. When I was at a recent seminar with Master Horse Gracie, I asked him what was his favorite technique to win a fight, and he replied, the one that wins the fight. And that's what Manny Pacquiao knows too. He uses techniques that win. He went on to explain what he did not plan for a fight and then study film for a fight and then do it in all that time. Sometimes he has specific moves made up for specific times and that he intended to use and try them at various times during the fight, but he did not make a plan of attack in his head to say, I'm going to try these moves whether they're working or not, and I'm going to try moves that may not work against a particular opponent and try to make them work anyway. Too many people try to make a boxing move or a technique work because it's their good technique and it doesn't work against the other guy. You have to be able to adapt. I asked him how B.J. Penn and St. Pierre fought last week and how St. Pierre was able to take B.J. out of his game plan. And every time B.J. Penn tried a certain move and expected to be able to be able to do that move or implement it, Pierre did something different to take him out of his game plan and nullify his response. That, that, uh, it just completely nullified what B.J. Penn in, in, intended to do. I, was remar I remarked I was surprised that B.J. Penn, who was so much better on his back, was in fact on his back most of the time the entire fight and was beaten so badly by a man who in no way can be, be considered the ground jiu-jitsu player that B.J. Penn was. And Master Grace said that was because every time B.J. tried to do a move or a technique that he had planned, St. Pierre stopped it, counted it, and proceeded to beat him to a pulp. And that's what Manny Pacquiao does in a fight. Every time Claudie tried to do a move in the last fight, and he didn't try to do that many, he counted it and made him pay for it. And let me explain. You don't plan a fight, you win a fight. Now you do have to study your film, you have to have a game plan, but you practice and work on techniques that you think you might be good for a particular opponent, but when the actual fight starts, you have to use techniques that your opponent is giving you, not techniques that you are determined to do anyway, even though your opponent is fully prepared for them and will stop them. You can't do that. You, you, you have to adapt the techniques you know to the particular fight that you're in and the fighter that you are fighting. You have to adapt. You have to fight to win the fight, just like Manny Pacquiao always does. I mean, he went on to explain and point out that most of the times in the real world, you do not have a video of your opponent's old fights. And we're talking about a street fight here. You don't have six months to get ready for a street fight. You don't have six months to learn the basic techniques that you'll feel confident doing in the street fight on that particular opponent. In, in, in the street fight, what matters is what you do at the time. You only have a few seconds, a few minutes to get ready for the fight. So you don't have time to prepare a fight plan. And if you ever find yourself in a street fight, you won't have but a few seconds to a few minutes to get your mind and your body ready to fight. When you are in a fight, is you, you have to go with the flow. Take what your opponent gives you and use it, those techniques against him that you know will stop him from doing what he's trying to do. That will stop his attack and allow you to control the fight to control the events of the fight and to win the fight. You might be a great kicker, but if you are on your back, you won't be able to use your kicks. You might be a great puncher or a hard jabber, but if you're held against the wall, you won't be able to jab and use your punches. You might be great on your right side, but you'll find your opponent holding you from your left side. You might have a great guard, but you find yourself caught in a mount. You might have some great chokes, but you find yourself being choked. So all your plans and all your techniques you think are good or even great at, you might not be able to use because your opponent is not allowing you to do them. Manny Pacquiao always adapts during a fight to what his opponent gives them. You have to be able to change your techniques to techniques that will work against that particular opponent at that particular time in the fight. I can tell you from experience, you have to be able to be prepared for anything. Guy Metzger is one of the greatest martial arts fighters in the history of Texas, and, and he was a great UFC champion, a pride champion, a kickboxing champion, and even a wrestling champion. Master Metzger has some of the strongest and best kicking techniques in the world, and he has used his vicious kicks to win many fights, but he can't kick and winds, but when he can't kick and he winds up on his back, he is also one of the world's best jiu-jitsu fighters, and he can beat you on your back or on his back. When I asked him what techniques he used in a certain 
opponent in a certain fight, he will go into great detail about what and how he did it. Some of his fights he won with a sidekick, some with a roundhouse, some with a right cross, some with a rear naked choke, some with a knee bar, some with an arm bar. But the more we talked about the fights, the more different ways he told me about the fights he won. He always adapted his techniques he used to that particular fight, and he changed whatever he needed to to allow him to win that specific fight. He was constantly adapting to the changing conditions of the fight and using and changing his techniques and his will so that his will in the fight to win was what mattered. You can do the same thing. You must learn to practice all aspects of your fight game. You must become great in punching, in kicking, in throws, in chokes, in hold down, in wrist locks, in joint locks, in combinations, in strength training, in diet, your mental conditioning, your focus. You cannot just be a good boxer and win all your fights. You can't win all the fights with punches. You can't just be a good kicker and win all your fights with kicks. You can't just be a great ground jiu-jitsu player and win all your fights on the ground. You have to be good at everything. And that's why it's so hard to be a great mixed martial arts fighter. You have to train in all aspects of the fight game and be prepared to make adaptations to any particular fight at any time during the fight with ease and confidence. If you don't adapt and change as the fight progresses and you keep trying the same punches and kicks and takedowns, the same techniques you did in round one, in round two, into round five and six and seven, you probably won't make it to the end of the fight. You have to be prepared to change the way you are fighting and defending by what your opponent is giving you. When you learn that, when you have practice enough to know what to do in any particular situation, you will become a great fighter. Just like the great Manny Pacquiao. He adapts his fight plans to the fight and he always does this. Write it down. Burn it on your forehead. He fights to win. Claudio didn't fight that last fight to win. He fought to survive. Manny Pacquiao always fights to win.